Hello everyone. Today, out of curiosity, a question comes in my mind, how does this universe exist and who made it? I have done some research on internet, and there is an interesting theory suggested by some experts. I will try my best to explain it in this research video. What took place prior to the Big Bang is the biggest unsolved question in the history of our universe. What is the origin of our universe? Albert Einstein looked for steady-state alternatives to the Big Bang model nearly a century ago because, in his opinion, a beginning in time was not philosophically satisfying. There are a number of theories in the scientific literature about the origins of the universe, such as the notions that it was chosen by the anthropocentric principle from the string theory landscape of the multiverse, where, according to MIT cosmologist Alan Guth, everything that can happen will happen an infinite number of times, or that it emerged from a vacuum fluctuation, or that it is cyclic with repeated periods of contraction and expansion. The idea that our universe was created in a technologically advanced civilization's laboratory is a less well-known possibility. An advanced civilization may have developed a technology that used quantum tunneling to create a baby universe out of nothing because our universe has a flat geometry and zero net energy. Given the flat geometry and zero net energy of our universe, Leb hypothesized that a highly advanced civilization may have developed the technology to create a baby universe out of nothing using quantum tunneling. The classification system for civilizations is one of the more intriguing ideas presented. According to Leb, humans are class C, a low-level technological civilization or a civilization dependent on its host star. We'd be class B if and when technology advances to the point where we can live without the sun. We'd be top-notch if we could engineer our own baby universes in a lab, just like our hypothetical creators. Of course, there are many obstacles in our path. Lib stated that the biggest one is our inability to produce a large enough density of dark energy within a small region. We would be able to join our hypothetical creators in class A, though, if and when we ever arrive there. In any case, the theory is intriguing, inspiring, and even a little bit terrifying. We're probably not the only ones aiming for class A status either, if Lib's earlier theories are to be believed. How far along are we on Earth in terms of creating our own baby universe and moving up the cosmic scale? According to Lib, we are very close to creating synthetic life in our labs. We may be able to create a baby universe in a lab once we understand how to combine quantum mechanics and gravity. The moral dilemma of creating additional universes raises the question of whether doing so would not lead to infinity of suffering for those universes' inhabitants in the future. The ethics of creating another universe would be similar to creating another human being. Perhaps I am an optimist, but in my opinion, having a human baby presents a chance for the child to improve the world. In a baby universe, the same holds true. Perhaps it will be superior to the one we currently inhabit. We can only hope. The mystery energy to create a baby universe is called dark energy, and with current technology, we are at the verge to extract this superior dark energy, which holds the key to universe. You can watch our next video on Einstein Dark Energy, and do not forget to subscribe now. We will bring more researchers to find the source of our existence. Please hit the subscribe button for updates. Take care and lots of blessings.